Campaigns are still calling, but since so many people have just stopped answering, they're now shifting toward text messages, which are harder to block. According to the company RoboKiller, Americans received 70 million political robocalls in September. That was actually a drop from 93 million in August. But by Election Day, Americans will have been sent as many as 3 billion political text messages, more than 2 billion in just the last 30 days. If you are a registered voter, your information is on file, and that's why these text messages may look familiar. It's a fluid area of the law right now. The level of sophistication of the campaigns and, and the candidates is, is improving. According to the call blocking app RoboKiller, Republicans have made 53 million robocalls and sent out 1.8 billion text messages. Democrats have made 17 million robocalls and sent out 902 million text messages. More than 40 percent of them are targeted at states that have already started voting, like California and Texas, and swing states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. There are strategies to make them go away. You can reply stop or opt out of the text messages, but that will only work if they're from a legitimate campaign. Usually a month or so before the election, we'll see a lot of scammers. You can also contact the campaign directly and ask to be removed, have the messages filter to a folder where you won't see them, or download a blocking app. If you do want to give money to a campaign, it's best to contact that campaign directly. But if you vote by mail... Better Business Bureau CEO Tim Monescalo says screening the calls to your phone is even more important. Typically, these people are very aggressive. They want your money. They say that, you know, we need to have money in order to support this cause. Hello? Watch out for people asking for your credit card information or saying they'll give you a gift if you answer poll questions. Some scammers could even use a candidate's voice to ask for donations. And if you think you've received a political robocall or text that doesn't comply with the rules, you can file a formal complaint with the FCC.